Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This is episode 6 of our Make an RPG series, and today we're going to continue our item creation uh, with creating a new script that's going to be creating a random uh, equipment item. Uh, so it's going to be a lot similar to our create a new weapon script, but I'm going to add, I'm going to change it up a bit and make it a little more complex. So we're in the same project. I'm going to go to our items folder and I'm going to create a new C sharp script and I'm going to call it create new equipment. And I'm going to open that up in Mono Develop. And as you see, this is our old, this is the old script that we had before, or not the old one, but the one we did last time. It's, like I said, it's going to be extremely similar. So we're going to inherit from model behavior. I'm going to set it up uh, so that when we create the weapon, it's going to show in the debug log that we created it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a private variable. It's going to be a base equipment, and we'll call it new equipment. And what this does is it allows us to use access base item, base stat item, and our base equipment class. And then I'm going to go down here under uh, uh, under start and create a new function. It's going to be a public. Actually, we can make it private actually. Private void. And it's going to uh, call it create equipment. And this is what we're the same thing we did here with create a new weapon. Uh, we're going to be doing in create equipment. So the first thing we need to do is actually uh, create a new base weapon uh, object. So we're going to go new equipment I'm going to set to new, uh, new base equipment and then we're going to uh, establish or decide on a name and this time instead of just using a letter and a random number like I did here we're actually going to have a few names it can pick from and so what I'm going to, I'm going to create a private string array and we're going to call it item names and it's going to be a new string and then we're going to assign it some certain uh, values. So what I might do is um, let's do just for fun. We'll just do uh, four names. We'll do common. We'll do great, amazing, and insane. So what we're going to have? So this is four. Let me go in here and make it a four. I'm declaring, right, the four is to tell the compiler that this string, this array will is four in length. It's always four. Uh, it's it's better, it cost, it's more costly on the compiler to um, to resize strings. But anyways, it's not a problem with this. So what I'm going to, so what, what we're going to do is uh, create a function and we're going to call that function and we're going to go private void choose item name and type and in this function just like it says we're going to choose one of these names and by choosing an as soon as we choose a name we're also gonna create a type actually scratch that we're just gonna choose a name so we're just gonna uh, go item we don't even need a function for this excuse me so we're just gonna go new equipment dot name and we're going to set it equal to our array but instead of choosing just one through four we're going to make it randomly choose the zero, uh, zero through four excuse me so we'll go uh, item names and see it needs an index and our index goes from zero to three so we're going to go random dot range and we'll go zero to four because max is minus one there you go so what this does is it randomly chooses an index value and then assigns it to item names and then it chooses either common, great, amazing, or insane. And then, just to make it even different, we'll add a um, an item tag to it. So it says common item, great item, amazing item. You get the idea. So we actually we don't need this, but what we're going to do now is choose item type. And this is what we're going to do next. Once once we got our name, we'll actually go new equipment, and we'll get an ID just while we're here. Random dot range. We'll set it uh, from one to one hundred one, 
like last time and then we're gonna call this this function choose item type and then choose item type we're gonna have a random integer random temp and we're gonna set that equal to random dot range and it's gonna be either a one through uh, do one through um, uh, how many we got eight types so one through eight we'll do zero yeah excuse me one through nine and we're gonna create a couple if statements the first thing we're gonna do is uh, if a random temp is equal to uh, one then we're gonna make we're gonna assign the item type to be an a uh, head type so we'll go new equipment the item type Oh, equipment type, excuse me. And it's going to be equal to dot head. Excuse me. Dot head. So here we go. We said if the random variable here is equal to one, then it's going to be a head item. And I'm just going to write else here. And I'm going to come here and just copy this, paste it. And I'm just going to change this to two and then shoulders. And now I'm going to copy this whole thing. Copy. And then paste a few times. And we're going to go through and change it to chest. Then we'll change it to um, legs, feet. We have a necklace, an earring. And we have one more. And that's going to be a ring. I need to go in here and change this to 8, 7, 6, five four and then a three. Oh no that didn't and a three why isn't shoulders working oh my uh the uh, template is messing up right now it's all right i think yep here we go so right now so immediately we have an item name an item id and we chose an item type um the next thing we need to do is sign some stats. So I'm going to copy and paste these stats just because I don't know what stats do yet. So we'll come here and choose these. We're going to copy this new equipment, change this new weapon to new equipment. And then I'm going to go back to our bait, create new weapon, and I'm going to copy and paste these. Because when I start, I wanna I wanna be able to figure out what it is, or you know see the name and our stats just to see if it's working. And we're gonna create equipment script. That's what we're gonna call in our start function. Uh, this would be equipment type. So here we go. Oh, one thing I forgot, and it's right here is our item description. And what we're gonna do is is kind of we're gonna do the same thing as our string up here. We're gonna do a private string array. array and it's going to be item description and it's going to be a new string and I don't know the size yet uh, you know we'll just make it two we'll come up with just two descriptions and it will be so it's going to be let's, uh, let's see, what do we can we do we can do um, uh, let me I'm trying to think what we can do uh, we'll just say a new cool item something simple so we that can show you that it's working and then a uh, a new not uh, not so cool item doesn't matter what it is you can you know you can be as crazy as you want with yours and down here we're going to under under choose item type we'll go new equipment dot description and we're gonna set that to a random or we're gonna set it to our string so item string and again like what we did with names was we're going to grab a random index value so we'll do range and another way you could do this is um, zero through the length so zero dot string or dot item dot length and so that will choose a random value however long this string is so if you made this 30 it would go from zero to 30 and 
that should be it. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go attach the script to. Oh, we have an error. Unexpected symbol. Oh, here we go. Didn't see that. Had a colon. We shouldn't have any more errors. We don't. So we're gonna grab this create new equipment script, put it on the camera. I'm gonna press play, and hopefully we have an item. So we have an amazing item. It's a new cool item. It's a legs has item ID is 63 and a couple stats. So I'm gonna press play again. Create a new one. We have a common item, a new not so cool item. It's a uh, item for your feet and it has an ID of 25, stamina and endurance. Just a couple more times to show you. Amazing item, new cool items, 76 legs. So it's working perfectly. So now it's your job, you guys, to be creative and come up with some new names and ideas and expand upon this general script. Um, if you guys have questions or have anything you want me to try uh, to add to this, I'll be more than happy to. Please write a comment uh, below. Uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be trying. I'm trying to do a video every day or at least uh, every other day. And I hope to, hope you guys stick around for the rest of the series. All right, have a good day. Talk to you later.